You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. Our reading for today is lifted from St. Matthew's account, chapter 5, verses 20 to 26. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin, and whoever says, You fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring gift to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. In today's reading, Jesus begins his teachings by saying, Unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Why? Were the scribes and Pharisees coming up short of something? Yes, Jesus does not match with the way they overstress outward appearances, while their hearts are full of malice and sin. For the scribes and Pharisees, the external observance of the law determines their righteousness. They were so caring and concerned not breaking it that they even appended the minor details. Jesus tried to clarify in his Sermon on the Mount that God cares a lot more about the inward movement of man's heart than the external observance motivated by pride. Jesus also recalled the sixth commandment, not to kill or murder. He says, You have heard that it was said to those of ancient times, You shall not murder, and whoever murders shall be liable to judgment. But I say to you that if you are angry with a brother or sister, you will be liable to judgment. And if you insult the brother or sister, you will be liable to the council. And if you say, you fool, you will be liable to the hell of fire. Pope Francis comments on this by saying that a person may not have killed someone, but if they are angry or hate another person, it is like they have killed them in their heart. The same thing with insults, hatred, and contempt towards another. This too is a way of killing the dignity of a person, he adds. Today's gospel pushes us to look inwards. While he may not have killed anyone literally, but how about our actions? At the offertory and before receiving Holy Communion, do we examine our conscience and ask if we have hurt anyone or nourished ill feelings against someone? Have we wondered about pardon? Have we forgiven those who have offended us? 
the gospel says, when you're offering your gift at the altar, and do remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First, be reconciled to your brother or sister, and then come and offer your gift. Lord, grant us the humility to make the first move to reconcile with those who offended us and those we have offended. Amen. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.